So now we're gonna do an experiment. Or make an experiment. So excited. Yes. <laughs> In any case, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do sensing with the hands but with the eyes closed. Now we're gonna it's gonna be something new. I'm gonna close my eyes now and Mariam is gonna give me one of her paintings. And you're gonna choose randomly any one of when I close my eyes yeah. of your hip and I will place my hand on the painting and intuitively feel the energy that comes out. I won't know which exactly painting Mariam gave me. So the most important thing in sensing energy is just going with your heart. Just really trusting your intuition, your own vibes, what you feel and believing. Believing in your own abilities and your own powers. So let's just see what's what's gonna happen. Okay. Alright, sorry. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. I close my eyes and Mariam's gonna give me a picture. Okay, one second. Let me pick. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So I've got a picture from Mariam. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a couple of deep breaths just to connect. Okay. I'm feeling kind of darker energy. Very it's uh, I can say it's a bit disturbing, not in a bad way, but if I were to compare it on the scale of being calm mm. and peaceful, this one would be a bit edgy for me personally. Uh, I feel it's biting me here. <laughs> a little That's bit funny. biting. <laughs> <laughs> and something strong like a whirl in this part. What did you say that part of? Like a whirl energy, something mm. Mm. like that does something like that to me. Okay. Like takes me in. Okay. Uh, I feel something strong, very strong here. I don't know what it is. It's something heavy and it demands my attention. That's what I get. I feel animalistic about this painting. I don't know if it corresponds to it. And more male. I feel more male energy on this. I can certainly feel there are different energies on the painting. Mm -hmm. Different aspects. I get a picture of little angels or some little beings. Boys, small ones. Uh, it's a very powerful painting. The energy just goes up to here. Even if I hold my hand here, I still feel it. Uh, I see a bird. I see somebody with a beard. Uh, uh, interesting feathers. I'm just saying things that come to me. That's how I usually do like a intuitive brainstorm. <laughs> What happens? Into the brainstorm. Here it's a bit softer. Here it's a bit softer. Calmer, more pleasant. Here. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna slowly open my eyes and look mm -hmm. at the picture and at Marian. Oh! <laughs> okay. You definitely felt the animalistic, and you probably just pointed out all the stuff that you see in there. That's very interesting. But there is actually a bird, beard. I did not see the picture before. Um, the animals, the little beings. There's lots of little beings in there. Uh, that's very interesting because I did feel little boys. Mm. At some point, I saw them actually. Mm. I saw them a bit like angels, but I knew they were little boys. And yeah, there's definitely one little boy there. Yes, we need to show. We need to be doing a video close up of uh, the, the little yes. boy there. That's like a little boy. I mean, it's not very little, but it's very, very boyish. It's a very yes childish. I would say this childish. is the most childish um, work that I've done. Very like interesting. The children, the feel of a children, fairy tale like, and the 
Bye Alice love. in Wonderland. Um, That's true. Type. That's what I felt. I felt this animal. What about where I was saying it was biting me? Which part was that? It was here. Uh -huh. It was here. Uh huh. Interesting. It was biting me. The rabbit. <laughs> Maybe it was oh, a rabbit. that cat. But also, it could be. Um, uh -huh. I think the longer you can, you you would work. It yes. could be that it would change because That's I think true. they're living images, so it yes. wouldn't only have one energy. That's true. I think it could change. You know how it is if you go closer to an animal, it might, might want to bite you, but uh -huh. then but then it's okay with you. That's true. <laughs> I remember feeling calmer energy here. But and this was this was exactly less. Yes, uh -huh. it's less going on, but this is where I also felt the vortex thing that was pulling you in. That's true. This, uh, it was here. Maybe it's related to this being. Yeah, interesting. The one with the beard. <laughs> the one with the beard. And I felt feathers. Do we have? Yeah, we this. have we have feathers there. We have feathers. We definitely have feathers. We have feathers there. There is a bird here, and and she has like feathers as well. Mm. She has a kind of like a feathery. There is definitely feather like you know these are shoes, but they look like feathers also. Mm -hmm. Um, and the trees they have that kind of a feathery, and there is a bird again. Mm -hmm. Um, I, wow. I I always have a little like you know you would find feathers mm -hmm. kind of um. Even if not as a feather, feather present, uh, they, they have forms that look like feathers. Uh -huh. like. We'll do a close up in a minute as mm. well. So, you will be surprised how many things you can pick up by just placing your hand on the painting yeah. with your eyes closed. <laughs> it does it's work. Fascinating. Really and fascinating. And it does develop intuitive abilities and extrasensory abilities. So, whenever you can find an artist or you can find a <laughs> painting, please grab it and explore. Nice Thank you. Here we have the close-up of our picture. As you can see, there are many, many different symbols here. They're very animalistic. <laughs> very animalistic, <laughs> true. So, that's why we're picking up many different energies from different corners, because there are so many different drawings different characters and beings and you can see some with feathers as we spoke before and the trees they appear to have something like feathers too same shape mm -hmm. little boys male energy so this <laughs> picture how do you feel about this Mary, when you were creating it, what, what were you experiencing? Mm, I was feeling very playful. I think the bunny here was one of the first things that appeared. Mm -hmm. And I really, really love the kind of... I really feel it's very Christmassy. Um, because of the tree and mm -hmm. the, because of having some, you know... But I didn't want to make it very Christmassy, but it has that kind of a Christmas festive winter celebration type of um, feeling and, uh, and it seems it's that kind of a gathering mm -hmm. um, so it definitely has that feel um, it's a bit like Alice in Wonderland because of the rabbit again and mm -hmm. kind of mixture of creatures that you see there um, mm, you can see a dog there too yeah there's dogs and fishes are always I always do fishes especially when I do really free form mm -hmm. drawing I always like to use them. I don't exactly know what they are, but I feel as if they're soul connected to my soul, mm -hmm. and um, I think they're, they're as if they're my soul bits, <laughs> my soul particles. 